heard that there's a man who lives on the moon. Hmm. And the moon is made of a bunch of cheese. But doesn't the cheese get moldy? And wouldn't he get sick of eating the same thing all the time? Wow, well, that's a lot of questions. I'd know I'd get tired of eating moldy cheese all the time. Like blue cheese. Yuck! <laughs> blue cheese is yuck. If there really is a man living on the moon, then how could he sleep with all that blinding light? So I liked that this is a take on an old sort of kid's tale, and it's given the child um, more control over the narrative. We get to see the child sort of understand and try to navigate the, the, the sort of story of this man on the moon. Um, and what that could look like from that child's perspective, which I think is quite interesting, how they reason their way through these um, these tales. And I do like how, how adults participate in keeping a sort of childlike faith. So, yeah, I think that was really, those are the major themes that I took from uh, the short. And I think it is really, really well done. I love the little girl. I loved the voice of her. Um, she was so sweet and caring and just pure, right? Like worrying about this man in the moon and what is he eating, and you know, moldy cheese. And so rather than just wishing that he has other food to eat, she's like, no, I'm going to take that upon myself and I'm going to share my food with him. And like just so many lessons to take from that. And even at the end where she gets the letter back from the man in the moon and she's like, oh, it's just like Amy's. And like doesn't really put two and two together. Just so sweet and wholesome. And I think that was kind of the theme. It was just really, really heartwarming. I loved the music. And I also have to point out, I think that it was ingenious what they did with Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. How they added to that song to create a whole new song that fit the piece so well. The animation style was brilliant. The realism of the landscape and the moon and even the, the characters, it just was so immersive. And the colors were so rich and vibrant and beautiful, what they did with light and shadow. That was so gorgeous to, to watch. Voiceover acting, top notch. Everybody did such an incredible job. The imagery was just beautiful and lush. Um, everything was just very aesthetically pleasing. You know, I love the storytelling here as well. It's super imaginative and I thought really captured the spirit of childhood. It's super positive and fun. You know, I also thought the film was very cinematic. Uh, it makes really great use of light and shadow and uh, has some great camera work as well. Just a really simple, nice message for children to teach kids to, to think of others, to be kind and generous, and uh, in a very simple way, framing it around Halloween, which which is uh, always gets a kid's attention, you know. It was, it was really beautifully done. The, the character design and the environments and everything looked great. The animation was fluid and looked wonderful. Um, Love the, the the voice performances were, were, were fantastic. You know, it just worked so nicely in the design, oh, the overall look of it. Just, it, it, was, it was a very, very good, very well executed film. And I just love seeing animation like this being produced independently. It was a cute Halloween short that I could definitely see being aired on one of, uh, you know, like a Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, uh, one of those kind of channels. I definitely thought the whole story, <laughs> basically uh, treating it kind of like uh, uh, Santa Claus fairy tale that, that was it was really cute i definitely like how it was handled you know she wasn't told she was wrong about it. like it was, everyone played along i thought that was super sweet super cute the innocence of children is what is explored in this animation how they ask endless questions and what something's in their head they can't get over it overall they did capture the innocence of this particular child where she got this idea in her head and as anyone who has children knows, once they get an idea in their head, it just does not stop until you find an answer. So often we make them up, but it just does not stop because of that. So it is well done. The animation overall was beautiful. It at first made you think this was going to be a 2D film. It then turned into the animation styles we're used to now because the moon looked at first quite 2D and the silhouette of a figure. And then you see the little girl and it turns into the animation styles we're getting used to now, like the Pixar-esque ones. 